Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to install and set up Off Me Reloaded for Spigot 1.10.2. Alright, so first let's go over to this tab and we're going to go to this URL here. I'll put it up on the screen for you. And we're going to want to download Off Me Reloaded. Let's click download. Let's save it to downloads. As soon as that's been downloaded, let's go back over to the Server Pro control panel. Let's open up File Manager and then click on the Plugins folder. And in here, we will click on Upload File. Click on from computer choose files and we're gonna upload the off me plugin we just downloaded click open and upload from computer as soon as that's done let's click restart as soon as the server's been fully restarted let's open up the file manager again go to plugins and you should see the new folder off me let's open that and here's where you'll see all of the settings and other things for it. We're going to open up the config YML file. And this is where all the settings are for this plugin. The first part of this config file is to set up an SQL database. Though you don't need this, this is very nice to use, especially if you want to connect their registered passwords and everything with a website such as a forums or anything that you run as well. If you don't want to use the SQL databases, you can just leave that as is and scroll down to the other things. Let's go down and here we will see the restriction settings. Uh, right here you can either allow chat or not. We're going to keep that false so you have to register your account before you can actually start chatting in the server. And here's the uh, commands that you are allowing the users to use while they're not registered or logged in. If you want to add a command you can copy, paste it, and you can change it such as let's say we want to allow them to use the help command as well. Well, now they can use that. Next, we are going to have the max registered per IP. Uh, I would suggest putting this up at least a couple uh, because there are people that use the same IP when they join servers. So I'm gonna set that to three just because I have two other people in this house that also play on servers with me. And here you can force a spawn location. We're gonna keep this false for now, but you can set this to have players be teleported to a world spawn point as soon as they're authenticated. Now scrolling down a bit more, we're not going to go over every single setting here, but right here we're going to change this to true uh, for survival mode just in case anything ever happens. Uh, when somebody joins, they'll be forced into survival mode. And you can set the minimum password link and maximum password link. Scrolling down a bit more, you can also set unsafe passwords here. So we're just going to do add another one. And basically, if a user enters one of these passwords, it is considered unsafe and will not allow them to register with that password. And with this, you can uh, replace password registration by an email registration instead. But if you do that, I would highly recommend you use the SQL databases. And if you do use this, make sure to go down and set up the SMP servers that you use for an email account. That way the authentication email will be sent to the email that the users uh, register with. Another setting you're gonna wanna change is this one, uh, prevent other case. Uh, let's change that to true real quick. Basically what this is, if, if you have a permissions plugin such as Permissions EX or Group Manager, and you give, let's say, this user a permission for everything, uh, and then somebody else tries to sign in with uh, different capitalizations of letters within the name like that, um, this will stop that from happening. Uh, this, I think, is mainly for use on uh, servers that are offline because it doesn't check with the Mojang servers. Yeah, it'll allow anyone with any capitalizations of names and everything. So changing this will definitely help uh, keep the server a bit more secure so that nobody else can sign in without their username and they'd have to use their password with off me. 
So basically that's all I'm going to go over with some of these. You can go through and change as much as you want, but I'd be careful. Uh, make sure that you keep things secure. As soon as you are done changing anything you want in here, click save. And let's go back and restart the server again. As soon as the server's been restarted, let's open up Minecraft and join the server. So right here we can see that it will not let me move or jump and it says please register to the server with command slash register password and a confirmed password. So let's do that. Register. We'll do... Let's try one, two, three, one, two, three. Password is too short or too long, please try with another one. All right, so instead let's try register one, two, three, four, five. We also have to do confirmation. And this password isn't safe, so let's choose another one. Let's do one, three, five, five, seven, seven. We'll use that. And we are successfully registered. So as you can see, we can now use the server. And if we log out and log back in, same thing will happen. But now we have to log in with the password we just used. All right, so that is the basics of how to install and set up Off Me Reloaded on Spigot 1.10.2. You can also use it on some earlier servers, I believe, to 1.8. I hope you guys enjoyed!